News presenter forgets to turn off his computer. A really embarrassing moment when a news presenter forgets that news broadcast already started. Jetzt habe ich hier, meine Damen und Herren, ein kleines Problem mit meinem Gerät. Das Gerät. Ja. Nearly naked woman appears behind news anchor. Talk about a video conferencing fail. A semi-naked woman walked behind a Spanish anchor during his live shot, but it turns out that she wasn't his girlfriend. The eight-second video, which dates back to June 2020, shows the man crashing his bike into the mayor in the middle of an interview. He is then pushed out of the way, only to fall over. According to reports, the man was drunk at the time of the incident. Worden ze neerfeesten? Wel, we gaan er vandaag vanuit dat dat evenementen zijn die terug zullen kunnen. First person to buy an iPhone 6 in Perth immediately drops it during TV interview. To Jack, have a look. Okay, this is just the normal iPhone, is it? This is just the normal iPhone 6. Yeah, I didn't want okay. a bigger one. All right, we're doing the reveal. Ooh. His name's Jack. Oh. <laughs> PSG striker Zlatan Ibrahimovic has made fun of a local journalist during a post-match interview following the team's 1-0 win over Rennes at the Parc des Princes. And you know better football than me? No. So why are you talking? I ask you, do I do, I do my job? Are you a journalist or a camera guy? I am a journalist. When Simon McCoy clutched a ream of paper instead of a tablet. Nothing to see here, guys. Good morning and welcome to BBC News. Plans for privately run drunk tanks to tackle alcohol fueled disorder have been backed by police chiefs. Under the proposals, drunk troublemakers will be taken to cells run by private firms and have to pay for it once they've sobered up. The Association of Chief Police Officers says problem drinking is on the increase and action is needed to deal with it. Moment reporter is swamped by boisterous Panthers fans. Moment reporter is forced to abandon her NRL Grand Final report after being swamped by boisterous Panthers fans. When Amanda Holden asked if Tim Peake took a piece from the moon, he quickly corrected her that he hadn't gone to the moon but was rather in the space station. The question I would like to ask, and I don't know whether you'd be allowed to answer it really, because it might be a naughty thing, is when you went to the moon, did you take a piece of the moon and bring it back home with you? So I wasn't Are in the moon, to? I was in the space station. So you never so. Got when Tom Duncan got confused and ran around the set before he realized that the camera was on his other side, a true professional. Hello and welcome. When someone prank called the talk show the right stuff with a fish and chips order. My favorite thing was Anne Diamond's reaction. To be fair, it was a really good viewpoint. From anyone else? Oh, we certainly do. We've got Doris on the line from Glasgow. Oh, hello, Doris. Hello, Doris. Hello, hello hi. Uh, so what's your hey. view? Should we be teaching kids to sing a national anthem, maybe a Scottish one? Uh, can I have two fish suppers and uh, two cans of iron brew, please? Thank you very much, Doris. Okay, really good viewpoint there. And when Alison Hammond decided to do the weather from a giant floating map to celebrate this morning's 30th birthday, but then accidentally pushed someone into a dock. It's going to be patchy rain over there. Get ready, go. All right. Go. Oh, oh. oh, my gosh. Are you all right? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. You all right? I'm so sorry. 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 When Bobby Gillespie from Primal Scream was a guest on the BBC's political show this week, and was all of us when Andrew Neil and others decided to dance. We are all Bobby Gillespie. When BBC Breakfast's Mike Bushell said that he was going to be very careful while interviewing some swimmers in a pool, and then... Uh, wasn't. I'm going to be very careful. 
I mean, this is for me. I'm going to have to jump into the water, actually. I've got to be very careful because I've got this sound pack on. But Sarah Vasey, Adam Peaty, Sean Marie O'Connor, Ben Proud and James Guy, congratulations. Oh, I didn't see the step. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> well, that's giving you all a good laugh. Adam's inconsolable there. When Gemma Collins fell through a hole during a broadcast of the Radio 1 Teen Awards. Air Force Major General James Martin Jr. fainted during a Pentagon news conference. He was taken to a nearby hospital as a precaution. We all hope Major James Martin is all right. We actually go back to... <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> Sir, can somebody help me? <laughs> Jim, Jim. Sir. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fox News host tries his skills with axe throwing on one of the events, but he overthrows an axe and hits a drummer behind the target. What an awful moment. With the axe, who's going to win this battle with the lumberjacks? That's going to up next. I'm putting my money on Clayton. <laughs> Meteorologist Kristen Diaz, news anchors John Thomas and Jane Monrail were on the air when a home on the 4800 block of Holmes and McArdle exploded early Friday morning. The blast could be felt from all over town, including the key TV studios. Absolutely. Good morning, everyone. I'm John Thomas. It's 5:30 a.m. Friday, July 12th. Kristen Diaz is here. It'd be yeah. nice to be out there. Right now. Oh, well, the studio had a little bit of a ruckus. We'll have to see what that's about. <laughs> Another angry news reporter gets angry of the camera. Said that uh, staying and doing nothing is as heinous as doing it all. All right, we're having technical difficulties, as we can see. A little frustration there. While conducting a post-game interview, New York Jets quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick is jumped by a teammate and responds in kind. It's a one-of-a-kind moment that was all caught on live TV. So I don't know how ugly it is, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. We're just out there playing. My helmet came down on me. Uh... <laughs> is this live? Of course it's live. Keep going, though. A former Croatian finance minister, Ivan Suker, was a victim of unpleasant event during the live interview on HRT4 channel. But this didn't stop him to continue the discussion on serious subjects. Napravi krvna i imovinska krvna slika kako hrvatskih građana, tako i hrvatskih poduzeća. Ne? Evo. Ovoga, tako da, e, dakle, temeljem te, te imovinske karte se može voditi socijalna politika. Nije sve. French journalist Fanny Agostini was reporting live from St. Malo when a huge wave behind her made her and a cameraman wet. Fanny, qui a les pieds dans l'eau. Attention, Fanny, il y a une grosse vague derrière. <laughs> oh non. Reporter gets angry on live for reporting outside on the rain. UK news reporter Jonathan Pye has a go at David Cameron, Alan Sugar, nuclear weapons. Matt Damon's treatment in the press, Jeremy Corbyn's treatment by the press, you name it, he has a go about it. Hollywood means that he is definitely a homophobic twat. My name is Jonathan Pye, and that was the fucking news! Press like if you love this video. If you like this video, please share it.